Gosh, this Vespa is so cute with this little helmet. Wow. Oh, look at this view. Time to keep exploring. Do my hair so I can put the helmet on. currently here and we're gonna go towards the Bom Ritful Farge <laughs> to see this horseshoe which is super iconic here so I'm so excited it's a lovely day out it's like 26 degrees <laughs> a little bit and I'm yeah. mildly peeing my pants right now. It is so pretty up here. There's so much nature to just absorb in. So relaxing. Let me show you. The weather is absolutely beautiful today. Sun is blazing, 26 degrees or so. And it's so serene. My first proper word that I learned in Germany. Bam Wipfel fat. <laughs> I'm very proud of this word because it's very long. <laughs> yes. My first time having curry work. Oh wow. Good morning everybody. This morning I am heading to a castle. Paso Solitude and it's very nice. I'm very excited. Today is going to be a morning filled with exploring caves, nature, castles, oh, before going to Munich. So very excited for that. Also, this is the castle. Very majestic. I love these staircases. If I had an evening gown, I'd walk down the stairs in a fancy evening gown. <laughs> and there's a random bus station over here. All right, a little bit of history lesson for everybody, including myself, since I'm just reading this off the phone. This palace was built as a hunting retreat. It was commissioned by Charles Eugene, the Duke of Württemberg, and it was built between 1764 and 1769. Lovely. Ah. All right, on to the next destination. 
Hello. So right now we are at the Liechtenstein castle, not to be confused with Liechtenstein the country. And this castle right here is pretty cool. It's in the Black Forest region on our way from Stuttgart to Munich, which is very nice. So if you guys are in town, go check it out. Schloss, that's a castle. things are my childhood favorite things to do oh my gosh yes Hello. it's the castle the Liechtenstein castle left the castle and now on the way towards Munich and going to take a little bit of a pit stop because it's like 2 30 and it is time for food before I get hungry <laughs> and I've been in Germany now for I think this is my fourth or fifth day fifth day I think and while I love German food I am absolutely craving Asian food so we're gonna do a little bit of a pit stop and stop for some Asian food the place is called Hanoi Asia Walk which is probably the most stereotypical Asian restaurant in foreign country name. All the other neighboring ones are like Dragon Something, Something Walk, Asian Something Fine. So that's a bit good. Honestly, at this point, I don't really care. I just want some food and I want some Asian flavors. Ooh, look, there are people cycling. Can you see? Oh, how nice. Okay, let me show you guys how the outside looks. Look at that restaurant sign. Let's see how legit this is. This looks very interesting. I've never been happier to see Asian noodles. Oh my god. Everybody, I am getting ready to go out for a cycle this morning around Munich. It's going to be a cycle slash walking tour of the city. So I'm super excited. I am dressed out in super warm workout gear. Yeah, it's going to be a lovely day outside. Just going to take the city bike, which is right here. so funny because of this little stream of water people come here with their surfboards in the middle of the city i'm like this is awesome how oh, cool my mom and dad up from the train station soon. I'm gonna get them some flowers. Ah, uh, yes. Looks good. Yeah. Basket! 
All right, my parents are arriving soon. They're gonna be arriving right there. Track 23. That's my parents in the train. Holy crap, this is massive. Like, <laughs> having Weisswurst, Weiss sausage today. Wow, look at this. Cool. This is the path we're currently on. Gonna keep going up there and then up there. <sighs> look at this view. Look at these cows, but then look at how there are also cows walking up this mountain. What, what, uh, what, what? Huh? How? We will go walk up and say hi to these two cows when we get up there. We're almost there. That's where we're going. And that's where our lunch spot is amongst all this beauty. Hello, little fellas. We're almost there. It is lunchtime with this view. Wow. The sun is out. Nice. And the hot chocolate. So we started here in the parking lot near the lake and then we took the cable car up and then we walked around here towards the back and then ended up there for lunch and then walked down and then now we're taking the cable car back down. Good morning everybody! Today I am at the Deutsche Museum. It is right behind me. I am staying in Munich for a few more days. So I'll be visiting you know, the museum, I'll be visiting the palace, some parks, some gardens. So I'm so excited to bring you guys along with me and let's go in! So in Germany, before you go into most venues or restaurants, you need to have this 3G thing, which is basically either you show proof of vaccination, proof of recovery, or uh, a negative 
PCR test. So I just brought my vaccination proof with me and got a stamp. And now we're waiting to go in. I'm in the science part of the museum and I feel like I am in university all over again because some of you guys who may be new to my channel may not know that I actually studied molecular biology so everything about cells, everything chemistry, biology, physics related were all things I needed to study back then. Beautiful is this piano. Look at this. Wow. When you come to this museum, you can get a free audio guide which comes in a variety of languages. I chose the English one. And we are going to go in. <laughs> my mom and I are laughing because we are so tired from walking. <laughs> we are so tired because of, we've been walking in the museum this morning and then now we're here. <laughs> and it feels like it's never ending. <laughs> It's huge. Thank you. That is a lot. Oh, that evidence on my running nose. 